I'm Ben Stockwell, and I'm fortunate to be joined by Brian Schaub from the Bryant baseball team, who was just honored as the America East Player of the Week this past week after going five for eight with three homers and six RBI in a sweep of NJIT. Uh, Brian, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. So I want to talk briefly about that NJIT series. It's your first you know, series as a member of the America East, kind of getting to that conference play, and you guys managed to pull off the sweep, really kind of having the offense go there the last few games, what was working so well for your team? Yeah, no, I think uh, for starters, obviously being our first home game, you know, we were just excited to be out there at home. And luckily we were blessed with a couple of nice days there. And, uh, you know, just looking to set the tone, um, you know, we've been playing a good brand of baseball the last couple of series and stuff. So we just want to keep that rolling in a conference play. Obviously um, everyone knows that once conference play starts, it's a new season. Uh, so we, you know, we just want to get started on the right foot and and set the tone. For you individually, you know, what was your approach at the plate this past weekend? Last two games, you really got it going with multiple hits each game and getting on base and trying to, you know, help jumpstart that, that offense. I think you're just trying to have fun up there, you know, uh, you know, keep it simple. Don't get in the way of your own self up there and uh, have some fun with it. So just, you know, looking to get, uh, you know, pitches that I can handle and do some damage with them and, uh, you know, just keep it loose. You know, your team overall, you've won 10 out of 11, really a strong start to the year. You know, you had some tough games early, but you played some tough competition. During those 10 wins, you've scored at least five runs in every one of those games. What has been clicking for this offense and that you also have so many different guys that contribute on any given day? Yeah, I think uh, it comes back to, you know, our discipline and our approach and and executing our approach. Um, like you said, we had a, a tough stretch in the beginning of the year, but like you said, we were playing some good competition. I just think uh, we've we found the ability to, you know, really focus on our approach and and stick to that plan. And I think, uh, you know, like I said previously, executing that and and staying true to who we are as a team and sticking together is what's uh, really helped us. We know offense is a third of the game, really. You talk a little bit about the pitching staff and what you've liked from what you've seen from them and the way they've really been able to hold some good offenses at bay here in the last few weeks. Yeah, no, the staff is, uh, they've been doing uh, an amazing job. Um, and, you know, as as an offense, it's really assuring to have a staff uh, that's uh, pitching as well. They have, if things start off slowly, you know, they, they have your back and they can uh, give you some time to work with. And uh, we know that we'll eventually be able to help them out and uh, and get them the run support they needed. But, you know, they've been tremendous uh, these last couple of weeks for sure. Finally, you know, looking ahead to this weekend, you face the defending champs, traveling to Binghamton, going there to, to face them. What do you guys need to do to put yourselves in a position where you can pull out some wins and maybe get a series victory over a, a tough team like that? Yeah, obviously, you know, heading to Binghamton for the first time, you know, obviously they won the conference last year and, you know, we expect uh, a similar similar kind of style of baseball from them, a, a winning winning program. Um, so I just think we need to you know, keep what we've been doing, uh, execute on our plan and stick together. And I think, you know, over the course of the series, I think we should uh, have some good results and, uh, you know, as we, as long as we stick together. All right, Brian, well, I appreciate you taking the time and best of luck on your travels out to uh, upstate New York this week. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.